Shalom. Shalom and welcome to White Rose Family. My name is Simonai, and these are the words I'm compelled to present before an awakening nation. If these words have reached you, if this recording have reached your ears and your eyes, my brothers and sisters, I say often we should ask questions, sincere questions. And one question would be, why? Why did this message reach you? And for what purpose? This is the 58th installment of White Rose Family. And I want to bring your attention to proclaiming divisions. Proclaiming divisions. Before I get into it, my brothers and sisters, let me read the disclaimer. You see, my brothers and sisters, these platforms have restrictions and in order to be compliant, I'm compelled to present this disclaimer. Warning and disclaimer. The information contained in White Rose family represents instructions and warnings to individuals who believe they are drawn by the almighty creator, Yahuwah, to Yahushua Mashiach. And I'm going to say, as it is written in John 6, 44, my brothers and sisters, John 6, 44, I speak of it often, for many people disregard the fact that it is the almighty father who draws us to Yahushua Mashiach. The content presented centers around end time realities. Please be advised this site is not intended for children under 16 years of age due to its content. By continuing forward, you agree to hold seminar harmless of any influence in or actions that arise as a result of watching, listening, and reviewing the content presented. The views expressed do not reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. Please note that I am not affiliated with anyone or organization with similar names. With that said, my brothers and sisters, the matter of proclaiming divisions, let me ask you, what comes to mind when you think of division? Is there something in one hand? Is there something in one hand that thinks of division in a set apart way and something in another hand, that makes you think of division as in something wicked and evil. You see, my brothers and sisters, proclaiming division is something that is necessary during these end times. Whether we want to accept it or not, there will be divisions. There will be division. In some cases, my brothers and sisters, one might be in a position like the hand. And the division is to put that person where he or she should be. Maybe it's the neck and the person is in the wrong place. So they must be divided and placed in the right position as the most high fitly join us together as we find ourselves being awakening in these end times. There are different divisions, my brothers and sisters. There's the good set apart versus the wicked. Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, divisions ordered by the voice of the spirit of Yahushua. You see, we might say we have free will and we might speak boldly. Sometimes we speak absence of humility, which is the strength to put these earthen vessels in our cognitive, our mental factors in check. And when we do so, we may find disappointment. And many of us will. For in these final days, my brothers and sisters, the discipline that the Most High has promised will ever so be strong as we find ourselves being divided. Some for the purposes of getting in the right position, but yet still a part of the obedient children of Yahuwah. Once we are put where we supposed to be. And some of us will find a division that will cause us to be purged or put away from the children of obedience. Now I'll speak more on that in a moment. 
But right now, my brothers and sisters, it is time to ask yourself, do you love Yahushua Mashiach? Do you love the Almighty Father? Are you prepared to do what is asked, what is expected of you, of us? Yahshua, divisions ordered by the voice of the Spirit of Yahushua. Come with me and let's read some scriptures. My brothers and sisters, know the life in the scriptures and obey. Obey he who is the Almighty One as he works in us, through us, one towards another. Consider Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34 through 39. It reads, Do not think I have come to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace but a sword. Let me pause there. You see, many will say, well, that was the Mashiach speaking. You're not the Mashiach. But let me ask you, my brothers and sisters, are we not the house of the Almighty Father? Are we not made alive by Yahushua Mashiach? Did not the Father, as it states in John 14, 26, send his set-apart spirit in Yahushua's name to work in us, through us, one towards another? So is it highly possible that we will be a reflection of the spirit of Yahushua working in us, delivering that sword that he speaks of. He goes on to say in the 35th verse, for I have come to bring division, a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies are those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take up his stake and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who has found his life shall lose it. And he that has lost his life for my sake shall find it. I say to you, my brothers and sisters, there's much to discern as we see the flowing life come into these words. You see, my brothers and sisters, who is it that give our mother or father breath? Who is it that give them life if they are indeed drawn? Who is it that make those decisions? We must focus and aim our eyes towards the Almighty Father through Yahushua Mashiach. We must know that it is he who takes priority over all in all. Taking up his stake. What is that stake? That stake is that element of sacrifice, sacrificing ourselves before the Almighty Father. Are we not aware of Romans 12, 1, which speaks of submitting ourselves, a living offering before the Almighty Father, Romans 12, 1. Yashra, O oh Yashra, end times are here, and I am here to proclaim that divisions will emerge we are getting ready to see the great divide. There will be those that will die. There will be those that will become physically incapable of coming together under the banner of Yashara due to various other reasons. It could be disbelief, unlearning, misled, rebellious, many factors. But we must prepare to witness individuals that we may not have ever expected will be separated from us, from among us. Yashara, oh Yashara. What say you on these matters? Have you begun discussing these matters? What if I don't see you, my brother, my sister? What if I can't reach you, my brothers and sisters? What if I do not have a chance to get to you, or for whatever reason I can't reach you? Make no mistake, O Yashara, there will be some that will be separated momentarily, and we will meet up in Yahuwah's given time. And there will be some that will be separated, and we may never see again while in these earthen vessels. My brothers and sisters, it's time to discern the different types of division. And when there is someone in our camp, and you say causing division, let us make sure that that person is not walking in obedience and executing judgment as led by the Almighty Father before we think the division is something wicked. 
Consider Romans 16, 17, and 18. Just as I read where the Mashiach said, I come to bring division. Let us also be mindful of Romans 16, chapter, verse 17 and 18. Now I call upon you, brothers, watch out for those who cause divisions and stumblings. Here's the key word, my brothers and sisters. Contrary to the teachings which you have learned and turn away from them. And it's talking about set apart teachings. You see, you can have some mores, bishops, pastors, community heads, fellowship heads, group leaders that could be teaching something contrary to what the spirit of the most high has provided to us by making the scriptures alive. And if someone is causing division and stumbling because they are teaching contrary doctrines, teachings that are contrary, that conflict, let us examine, let us vet the person thoroughly, and let us execute a verdict and render the judgment that is so due. And if they are on task and we are in error, let us lean under the blood of the Lamb, Yahushua. Seek to repent and ask forgiveness and rise up anew, renewed by the power and might of the Almighty Father through the set-apart blood of Yahushua Mashiach. 18th verse 8, For such ones do not serve our Master, Yahushua Messiah. You see, if they're serving teachings contrary, he's letting you know these are the ones that's not serving. So we must know, is an individual, our individual, serving up according to their service to the master, Yehusha Messiah? Because it says, but their own stomach. They do not serve our master, Yehusha Messiah, but their own stomach. And by smooth words and flattering speech, they deceive the hearts of the innocent. Yashara, my brothers and sisters, you hear me speak of discern often. For the Almighty Father is, is alive and well and present and working in us one towards another. Consider these words, my brothers and sisters. Beware of those who rebel against the children led by the Almighty Father, Yahuwah. In other words, there are those that are obedient, that are executing judgment among the house of Yasharal, and in many cases it's unpleasant. In many cases, it may seem that they are causing confusion, but the confusion is that the teacher led or those who are in the midst led people erroneously, and they will point the finger and say that an obedient child is causing confusion. And of course, there are times when Hashatan will use someone and bring wicked confusion. We must be able to discern the spirit of the Almighty Father, we must be able to discern his voice and know the difference between the division that is ordered by Mashiach and the division that is rustled up trying to infect the body of Yasharal. Philippians 1, 9 through 11, I've read it before and compelled to read it again. In this I pray that you, that your love might extend more and more in knowledge and all discernment for you to examine the matters that differ in order to be sincere and not stumbling into the day of Messiah, being filled with the fruit of righteousness through Yahushua Messiah to the esteem and praise of the Almighty One. My brothers and sisters, let's get serious. End times are here. Cataclysmic conditions are unfolding before our very eyes. To dismiss it does not make it go away. To ignore talking about it does not make it go away. To hide our heads in the sand does not make it disappear. Let us be mindful of 1 Timothy 6, 3-5. It reads, if anyone teaches differently and does not agree to the sound words, those of our Master Yahushua Messiah and to the teaching which is according to reverence, he is puffed up and understanding none at all, but is sick about questionings and verbal battles from which come envy, strife, slander, wicked suspicions, worthless disputes of men, of corrupt minds, and deprived of the truth, who think that reverence is a means of gain, 
withdraw from such, my brothers and sisters. If someone is teaching you differently, if someone presenting doctrine that is not sound according to Master Yahushua Mashiach, withdraw from such. You see, as the flesh war against the spirit, we will see leaders trying to defend their actions. We will see teachers talking about, you know what I mean. Don't get so technical. Don't be so serious. Yasharal is being left behind and watch the ground open up and swallow and kill people. Is that a serious matter? It becoming infected and witness individuals infected and die because of this coronavirus. Is that serious? Dying of measles, Ebola, cancer, diabetes. Is that serious? Being in the wrong place at the wrong time and facing physical death. Is that serious? Are end times serious, my brothers and sisters? I think so. Are we robbed of joy? Indeed not. The joy is knowing that this is the plan of the Almighty Father and that we are in the midst of a plan, a plan that is unfolding that will yield individuals who will face life everlasting with Yahushua Mashiach. It's time, O Yashraal, to seek to discern to seek to understand what iron sharpening iron means, as it is written in Proverbs 27, 17. You see, my brothers and sisters, iron, sharpening iron, are two like metals coming together. Two like me metals clashing, my brothers and sisters. As iron clash, it makes sparks. And when the sparks fly, those are the impurities that are leaving. And the results are two sharpened instruments. And when you look at this and apply it to two brothers and sisters coming together, knowing that Yahushua works in us one towards another, the impurities that fly are the errors, the mistakes, the wrong. They're released in our repentance. They're released in our embrace of forgiveness. We rise up stronger, sharper, Yasharal, oh Yasharal, but we must be of like metal. We must be of like mind. We must seek to discern what the spirit of the one and only Almighty Father is saying to us in the name of Yahushua. Let us know what iron sharpened iron mean, and let us walk with the severity that is necessary to make us sharper, more obedient, more ready to respond to the voice of the Most High. Yasharal, oh Yasharal, I cannot stress enough the hour that we are in. There will be divisions. Let us obey orders. There will be the chosen ones handpicked by the Almighty Father himself. There will be those taught by chosen ones who are also chose, chosen to relay more and more information. And as I read, my brothers and sisters, Proverbs 27, 17, iron is sharpened by iron and a man sharpens the face of his friend. Now let me present something else as it relates to being sharp, being king. See, when you think of sharp, you think of the qualities and characteristics of something that can cut through, that can pierce through, that can press through. Ecclesiastes 10.10 10 say, if, a, if an iron tool is blunt and does not sharpen the edge, then he, he needs more strength and wisdom. For it says, more strength and wisdom is advant advantageous to make it right, to make right. If an iron tool is blunt and one does not sharpen the edge, then he needs more strength and wisdom is advantageous to make right, O Yasharal. There's more. Come with me as we speak on the matters of division, my brothers and sisters. You see, it is important that we understand how things will flow for evidence and proof is unfolding before our very eyes. 
Consider these words and take heed to wise instructions, my brothers and sisters. Matthew 12, 25 saying, Yahushua knew their thoughts and said to them, every rain divided against itself is laid waste and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. There's a division that is against the set apart instructions of the most high. If we continue to be in compromising communities, camps, groups, or fellowships under the guise, you're not going to find a perfect fellowship. And we know that that leader is wicked and wrong. It will fall. Prepare to witness the fall of many communities, fellowships, and groups, but also prepare to behold the workings of those disciplined by the Almighty Father that will come together in unity. 1 Corinthians 5, 1 through 5 reads, It is commonly reported that there, are whor there is whoring among you, and such whoring as it is not even named among the nations, so as one to have his father's wife. And you have been puffed up and did not rather mourn, so that he who has done this deed be removed from among you. For I indeed, as absent in the body, but present in spirit, have already judged the one who did this as though I was present. In the name of our master, Yahushua Messiah, when you are gathered together and my spirit with the power of our master, Yahushua Messiah, deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the flesh in order that his spirit be saved in the day of master Yahushua. Many people don't understand what that's saying. You see, my brothers and sisters, when we walk in disobedient, when we are unlearned and rebellious, when we stray from set apart, sound instructions. If we do what the Messiah instructs us and purge that individual from us, they will experience the hardships of not understanding the instructions of set of partners because they would have been overtaken by rebelliousness, unbelief, undiscerning. And as their bodies break down, whether it be sickness or physical harm, as they face things that they cannot understand that bring the body towards death, some will repent and seek forgiveness and be restored to the flock. Some will not repent until they take their last breath and we may never see them again. It is important, my brothers and sisters, to recognize delivering one to Satan is not because we hate him, it's letting them know we cannot tolerate wickedness among us. Don't use the verse wheat and tares to justify leaning in and gathering with compromising behaviors and spirits. You see, my brothers and sisters, that which is obvious must be purged and will be purged and will be rejected. It is the ones who are so clever that they demonstrate actions that seem set apart that we can't really tell or because of our focus, we fail to discern what the spirit of Yahushua is saying. My brothers and sisters, movement, movement will come. It is time for us to discern when to embrace and when to come away. Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, these may seem like broken records, repetitive words. There may be something fresh and new said in these messages. Only you know. Make no mistake. The Almighty Father knows all, hears all. And he reveals to others your condition. For there are intercessory prayer warriors among us, O Yasharal. Let us discern when to embrace and when to come away. Let me read the following, O Yasharal. Focus is something that is very important as we find ourselves migrating towards the positions the Almighty Father would have us. There will be goodbyes and there will be missed opportunities to say goodbye. In the coming days, my brothers and sisters, as widespread death begin to ramp up during end times, as destruction comes, there will be goodbyes. I'll see you at resurrection time. If you who are, be willing. There will be missed opportunities. 
and they will weigh on our minds and emotions. Let us learn to face forward, to look ahead, for there is so much work ahead of us, O Yasharal. Again, there will be goodbyes, and there will be missed opportunities to say goodbye. If ever there was a time to understand the strength in Proverbs 425, that time is now. Let your eyelids look forward and your eyelids look straight before you. Watch, my brothers and sisters, as death and destruction, as civil unrest and chaos unfold. Those who look back like Lot's wife looked back will face destruction, will face hardship, will face things that are unimaginable, will face depression. We must and we will discover those who are obedient to the Almighty Father will be energized, motivated, and directed to look forward and press forward as we await and anticipate the physical return of Yahushua. Let us be mindful there are warnings that go forth. Consider what happened in Isaiah 31.1. Consider how things happen cyclically, like something could have happened in the literal back then, which it did. But I say to you, we will witness such events happen again. It says, woe to those who go down to Mitzrayim for help, that's Egypt, and rely on horses who trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but who do not look to the set apart one of Yasharal nor seek Yahuwah. Basically, my brothers and sisters, if our focus is on the wrong people in the wrong place, this is a warning. And sometimes, my brothers and sisters, it could be those among us who are looking at the wrong place and the wrong people and that are not seeking Yahuwah. They may say they are, but do the actions define that their words match up? Yasharal, O oh Yasharal, my brothers and sisters, where do you stand on these matters? Individuals who demonstrate obedience to Abba Yahuwah will understand the great divide, will understand the need for pulling away, coming away, or purging. Yasharal, my brother, my sister, it is time to begin to seek to discern what task, what positions are you being refined to feel? What steps are you being prepared to take? And if it is to be a martyr for Yusha's name, or it, if it is to shelter in place and be the last words still echoing the path to salvation, the drawing power of the presence of the Almighty Father, then so be it. The plan is the Almighty Father's. Again, individuals who demonstrate obedience to Abba Yahuwah will understand the great divide. Those who do not, beware of. Yasharal, O oh Yasharal, end times are here. End times will prove that it's time to discover what must and will be done. We will come to know that it's not about, will you do this for me, please? If you do this, if you do that, if we do this, we're getting ready to discover, discover what living orders represent and how the Most High will indeed discipline us and exact upon us, execute upon us the things that are necessary for us to be under the blood of the Lamb. Yielding to reproof, repenting, seeking forgiveness, and rising up anew, strengthened by the Almighty Father, by His Spirit. You see, there's a power within us that will move mountains. There's a power within us that will shake the grounds and open the doors of those in prison that the Most High want free. There's a power within us that will bring about healing and cause the hospital doors to fly open, the IVs to come off. There's a power in us that will prove to give us the strength, fortitude, 
necessary to press into the Almighty Father and demonstrate and fulfill what is written. Yashra, there are plans. There are plans that are given to the leaders and the chosen ones. There are plans that will come together as we find Yashra growing in unity, purging the wicked from among us, embracing those that are directed to us. The 144,000 Hebrews, Abraham will rise, O Yashara, along with a great multitude of many other Hebrews, Abraham, and many people from many different nations, kindreds, and tongues who seek to do the will of the Almighty Father. Watch the results of the discipline of the Almighty Father as he proved his actions, as we begin to emerge out of all the diseases, the plagues, the famine, the destruction, and the death. There will be an emergence of those delivered. What say you, O Yasharal? White Rose family has a plan. It is a plan that will contribute towards a set apart team of leaders that have been vetted, examined, proven to be chosen by the Almighty Father. It is a plan that will develop an information and resource center, virtual and physical, for asking questions, a go to center for getting answers. Natural, practical, and spiritual, O Yasharal. It is a plan to build a team with diverse skill sets, teaching, mentoring the young, the unlearned, even the old who may be unlearned. It is a plan for those in the Western Hemisphere, a plan to purchase land in the Virginia, state of Virginia, the Commonwealth of Virginia. For I believe this will be an exit point for a mass exodus out of the Western Hemisphere towards the Promised Land, where that focal point will be the true Mount Sinai, which is currently known as Jabal al -Az, situated in the northwest quadrant of Saudi Arabia. Yashra, O oh Yashra, it will be a great multitude. There is so much work ahead of us. And believe it or not, as we find ourselves facing extreme humbling times, as the chosen leaders deliver the instructions that are necessary, things will begin to fall in place. Yasharal, White Rose family, will identify and support safe zones as we find ourselves migrating from point A to point B to point Z to the promised land, O Yasharal, or to that point where the Most High would have us be until we face physical death. To provide guidance and support for completing this journey, to provide guidance for the inner circle, O Yasharal, White Rose family has a plan it is not the only plan. <coughs> it is not the be all plan. It is a plan that contributes towards the connecting of a set apart awakening nation. It is a plan that will provide demonstrations and actions as we find ourselves waiting on Yahushua Mashiach's physical return. And like with all plans, my brothers and sisters, there's a cost. Count the cost. I won't spend much time on this slide. You can look at it. But I want to direct your attention to the words on the bottom. These are words you can use, my brothers and sisters, to formulate questions and vetting and questioning. Ask the right questions. Drill down. Examine one another. Identify the good stewards appointed by the Almighty Father and those who are not. Make your choice. I am compelled to believe that the Most High will harden hearts and soften hearts, but in all due season, what is necessary will come to be, O Yasharal. You can pause this slide and read the information and move from there. You can consider getting involved, contributing resources, supplies, skills, and or money. Seek to discern what the Most High, Father, what His Spirit is saying to you in Yahushua's name. My brothers and sisters, proclaiming divisions. I proclaim that the divisions have begun and they will ramp up. Those whom we love, some we love intensely and immensely, we will find ourselves coming away from. You see, even though we talk about we have freedom, that freedom is freedom for the Almighty Father to do what he see fit as he see fit. Are we robots? Absolutely not. Are we vessels used by the Almighty Father Spirit? Indeed. 
We will see the answer to these questions as end times unfold before our very eyes. Do not despise the division that is ordered by the Almighty Father. Do not divide the division that Yahushua Mashiach brings so that we can be assured we are walking in obedience and that we are fitly joined together according to the word. Who among us would build a house and bring termites in to destroy it? Who of us would get on a ship with someone that like poking holes and stuff? I'm just saying, my brothers and sisters, sometimes we allow ourselves to be in fellowship with people that are warring to destroy us as individuals in Yahushua Mashiach. But the Most High knows what to do and will do it. And he will work in us, through us, one towards another. Prepare to behold the promises of the Almighty Father as he execute his judgment in us, through us, as he provide the discipline that we need. Prepare to witness the vengeance that is promised. Prepare to witness his wrath, for all of these have begun and we will grow to recognize more than anything, we will know when and how to shout hallelujah. For we are his. And we understand the dynamics of what is coming to be. And the more we understand it, that will help us get through what's ahead. On that note, O Yasharal, proclaiming divisions, discuss these matters. And as I said, in some cases, in some cases, it might be a division just momentarily. We may meet up later on down the road, and we may not. What's most important is that we seek to do what the Almighty Father is telling the one in the mirror, telling you, me, us, to do. I close with saying this, O Yashara, I will forever, while I have breath, pray each day that we are able to discern what the voice of the Spirit of the Almighty Father is saying to us. Not understand, not just recognize, but respond with all correctness. I salute your patience, your tolerance. I say thank you. I salute your love to do the will of the Almighty Father in your pursuit of set apartness. And I pray that you experience much shalom through understanding what is about to happen. In Yahushua's name, I come to you, and I say again, Shalom.